Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from Sergey, a Uniform Bravo 4 Lima Delta Tango. Okay, and he has this question for us. Uh, tell us about the antenna with a low three to four meter high installation. Three to four meters high is going to be about uh, 10 feet to 15 feet here. Uh, high installation from ground level. I have not found such information on the internet. I want to work on all shortwave bands. So he has a ham license by shortwave bands. I'm thinking he means uh, ham bands. Okay, now, uh, so he has an antenna that's three to four meters high. So here's the ground, here's the antenna, and it's going to be 10 to 15 feet or three to four meters. That's feet. Okay, and now the problem with an antenna like this on HF for the lower bands which in this case would be 80, 40, and 20. It's even too low for 20. Um, you're going to get an NVIS radiation pattern near, near vertical, meaning straight up near vertical incidence. Okay. Incidents hitting the ionosphere, sky wave, or NVIS propagation. Okay, so these signals will come down fairly close to the Earth. Now, 20 wants a more oblique angle, so you're going to get a really weird pattern on 20. Now, um, Remember the first rule, or the second rule of antennas. Second rule of antennas. Second rule, height matters. Okay, if you want to have, and I'll just show you an elevation pattern for a dipole. It, at optimum height, it looks about like this. Okay, so your angle of radiation, your best angle of radiation is kind of like this. If this antenna is at a half wavelength, that's a lambda, which stands for wavelength, half wavelength high. Okay, so let's put some numbers down here. In order to get that pattern on 80 meters, you have to be 40 meters high. That's 132 feet approximately. 40 meters, you need to be 20 meters high, which is about 66 feet. 20 meters, you have to be 10 meters high, which is about 33 feet. Okay, and now on 15 meters, you have to be 7.5 meters high which is, um, well, less than that. But the point being that height matters. So let me show you what the radiation pattern of such an antenna is. Um, it will look like this. Okay, now here's your 3 dB points right here. 3 dB. So this is your angle up here, up here, and up here. Okay. Now, if you want dx, you need to be out over to the side like this to get dx. So to do that, you need a higher antenna. So if you're going to put an antenna... Um, now, you don't say what kind of antenna. Um, 
you're going to find that your propagation will be nearby. So if your uniform Bravo, which I think is, I'm not sure, let's look it up. So what you're going to find is that mostly you'll be talking to other fairly nearby Russian stations, unless you get up much higher in frequency to where that uh, antenna starts to represent being about a half wavelength high. You're going to get really weird um, antenna patterns off of those things at the higher frequencies because of the length of the antenna, but it can be made to work with the tuner. So again, the second rule of antennas, height matters. Um, you're going to find a lot of DXs. We're getting up into the DX season. Uh, you want to get your antenna, if it's a 40 meter antenna, you want to get it up as high as you can. It's real higher. Hard to get it at 20 meters, which is 66 feet up. But a 20 meter antenna, you can maybe get 33 feet or 10 meters off the ground. Uh, you'll have a very nice antenna. The other option, of course, is to go vertical. Now, if you go vertical with a multiband antenna, uh, you can uh, do pretty good in terms of uh, getting a signal up in the air at uh, a reasonably low elevation angle for DX. Okay, so I hope that helps answer your question. Again, second rule of antennas, height matters. Uh, first rule of antennas is everything affects everything. So um, there you have it. For those who would like to add to the channel funds for uh, this channel, you can go to dcastler.com support. If you'd like to enter for the giveaway, uh, you can go to dcastler.com giveaway and find out the details there. We give away something cool every month. And until we next meet, 73.